subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. I believe there might be a misunderstanding in your request, as Python primarily uses curly braces for dictionaries and sets, and square brackets for lists. Flower brackets are not a standard notation in Python. However, I'll provide you with a tutorial on dictionaries, which commonly use curly braces. Title, Understanding Python Dictionaries Introduction Python dictionaries are versatile data structures that allow you to store and retrieve data in key-value pairs. They are enclosed in curly braces, and each key-value pair is separated by a colon. Dictionaries are mutable, meaning you can add, remove, or modify elements after creation. Creating a Dictionary To create a dictionary, use curly braces and specify key-value pairs separated by colons. Here's a simple example. In this example, flower underscore dict is a dictionary with flower names as keys and their corresponding colors as values. Accessing Values you can access the values in a dictionary using the keys. Here's how you can retrieve the color of a rose from the flower underscore dict. This will output, the color of the rose is red. Adding and modifying elements. Dictionaries are mutable, so you can add new key value pairs or modify existing ones. For example, removing elements. To remove an element from a dictionary, you can use the pop method. Iterating through a dictionary. You can iterate through the keys, values, or items of a dictionary using for loops. This tutorial covers the basics of Python dictionaries, which are represented using curly braces. Remember that dictionaries are powerful data structures for organizing and manipulating data in Python. ChatGPT